today we're just going to the Asian market with some friends from my class. Um, I wanted to do a video with the sushi rolling mat set that I got so I was going to get some ingredients from here. So. This is Lucky Oriental Market located and I think it's like South Miami. I'm not sure. I gotta get the location but this is where we're going today. Hey guys, so I'm in here. They have all kinds of stuff. So far I picked up dumpling wrappers and like some of the little snack things I wanted to try. Like, we got these that we want to try, the popping candy. Um, we're assuming it's like Pop Rocks. Okay. Oh, so, <laughs> so much. These are all instant ramen noodles. There's so many different kinds. Right? And now we're in like the snack aisle. They do. They have everything here. This is what our cart looks like so far. This is what my friends and I have put in. There's all kinds of stuff. You for I have no idea. <laughs> hey guys, here is sake. Sake is basically a rice wine. We have so many different kinds. I think I'm gonna get one. Now we are in the like veggie aisle. They also have flatware and plates and dishes. They just have everything. Bok choy, trumpet mushroom. Those are humongous. The cutest items. <laughs> One of the prettiest bowls. Little soup spoons. Bento boxes, guys, and like they have a set. They also have steamers too. Yeah, they have the, the bamboo steamers. Bamboo steamer boxes. This for this where you put your sushi rice in. Oh, that's where you cool it. Yep. Interesting. Oh, um, your expensive sushi books up here. Oh, the ones we have your, in class. Your bridge. The, the smaller the version. <laughs> and the sushi bridge. <laughs> the sushi things are so cool. There's, they also have like china wear and everything. Old. There is a hundred year old egg. It's fermented. And that is what it looks like. They also have like dried shrimps. Different sizes. Dried fish. Decorations and items. Look at these back here. <laughs> Really nice. She bought it. It's the sake set for my mommy. And these are all the snacks. This is I'm my fine. box, Sierra's box, my friend, and then my roommate's box, T. She got that. So these are all the things that we bought. Some stuff we've had, some stuff we haven't. So we're super excited to try them when we get back to school. Okay, so we got this. We got a bunch of other things. So we just want to try this first in the car. It's called Yakult's. I don't want to butcher that. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to try it. It's just a probiotic drink. Um, apparently it's really good for you. I've heard about these. They have a lot of health benefits too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try them for you. Want me to open it? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> I always see people try them it. and I'm like, bro, I have to really see what it's about. Okay. Ooh, I, thought it was, I thought this was the size, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Do we you. shake it? I would shake it. Oh, it says Ooh. shake gently. Shake gently. Completely remove oil top before drinking. I'm going to drink it. It was quick. 
That was not gentle at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it says gently shake. If it explodes on me, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> That's what I get. Let me prop the camera. I know you're good. It's I think they have flavors, but it didn't say if there was a flavor on it here. It's good. It is. It's good. Ooh, it smells good. Damn, can you see how much? Mmm. That's interesting. I was. He bought that thing, and that thing alone was like forty something dollars. I thought this was gonna be sweet and like milky. It's actually like tangy, like a oh, juice. It says it has a citrus aftertaste. Yeah. Often try it. It is citrusy. It tastes like citrus and, and uh, vanilla. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Try it. Oh, this is good, everyone. So we are back from the Asian store, and I want to show you guys what I got. Um, I got a few things that I plan on making um, another video with since I did get some, I did get a sushi rolling kit. Um, so there's other foods that I also want to try along with that. Um, so I got some noodles to make my own ramen because I have a lot of food allergies, so I find it better to make my own stuff my version because of my allergies. Um, but I didn't let that stop me completely. I was able to find good alternatives and good other things. I just had to read the ingredients on them. Um, this is a, it says plain bomb, plain delicious sweetness. It's basically a roll cake. I'm not sure if you see. But it's like a cake and it's like really, really thin each layer and it's rolled. So I find this super, super cool. Excited to try that. Then I got some spring roll sheets, rice paper sheets. Um, to make these, you usually just um, dip it in water and you put whatever filling and ingredients in there and it's kind of translucent so you can see through it. So this will bring you really nice to do with some like cabbage, some purple cabbage, regular cabbage, you'll see the color through. It'll be really nice. Then I got dumpling wrappers. I can get dumpling wrappers, or I'm sorry, I did get dumpling wrappers. These are frozen, which is pretty cool. There is so many in here. It doesn't really see the count, but there's a lot. You see all the layers there. Then I got honeydew melon on cake. I got this flavor because the other ones had soy in it and I have allergies. So this one actually has no soy. It says wheat, flour, honeydew melon, sugar, eggs, milk powder, butter, and corn oil. And that's what makes that up. This looks super good. And plus it's a new flavor I've never tried before. The other flavors were strawberry and I think just like regular cream. So I've never had honeydew melon in a pastry before. Um, then I got some jasmine tea for my brother. My little brother has an obsession with tea, just any kind of tea, he loves to try them all. So I got him some jasmine tea. And then I got some cabbage buns. They're basically like pork buns, but no pork, it's vegetable. Um, and this is a wheat version. Reason why I picked up this one, because it has no soy. So I was actually able to find products that kind of suit my allergies in a way. So this is the best I could find to suit me. They had all kinds of pork buns. They looked absolutely delicious and I wish I could get them, but I'll settle for this. And then last, I got sake. And it's absolutely such a pretty bottle. I think that's why I got it for the most part. I want to try it, but the bottle I chose is because, or the type I chose is because of the bottle. So I'm super excited to try this. So yeah, I'm going to try all these products in another video. So you guys are going to stay tuned for that. Um, this is going to be a cooking video with a bunch of different Asian foods. So it's going to include some Korean food and then whatever other ingredients that I got here. <laughs> that's my roommate. But yeah, we had such a great trip, didn't we? We did. It was fun. I kidnapped her after class and she wasn't expecting to even go. And we and asked me money. We, it, was it was worth it. Worth it. it was really worth it. I'm trying one of the candies now. Oh, really? Yeah. Which I mean, um, the little gummy um, pineapple ones. Oh, yeah. Really? I just recorded myself trying it. It's kind of like they want you to chew it, but it's mm -hmm. like <laughs> initially chewing it is kind of uh -huh. thick, but it is kind of good. I wouldn't buy it again because it doesn't have much taste. But I see. Oh yeah, and also check out her YouTube. She also recorded some stuff. So yeah, check out more over there. And that's all. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>